Okay, hi. It's me, Tina, from my design embellishment, and my desk is really messy. So what I decided to do, I'm going to work on this cover a little bit more. And what I decided to do, I found this picture in Tracy's new compendium. No, it's just chilling. It's just chilling, kid. I love this lady. So what I'm going to do, I cut out a frame, and I'm going to put this on the front of my... I'm gonna, I am going to cover it. I found this scrapbook paper, and I just really like the contrast. I'm going to put this on here. Let me just do this really quick. I'm not going to, this is, I just was wanting to work on it this morning. I didn't want to leave you guys out. Um, and so I just did. <laughs> I just wanted to work on it a few minutes because I had an idea. Um, and I'm not going to be on here very long this morning. And Leo says, um, I don't know, we're getting new internet service this morning, so I don't know how much trouble that's going to be, um, as far as Whoops, let's say that didn't want to stick. As far as being online, I should have probably, anyway. And I have a few things that, whoops, watch it. Oh, it did, it, but it didn't stick. It was, it landed face down, so now it's got dog hair on it. Yay. Okay, well, whatever. When you live in a house with dogs, you have dog hair. It's just the way it is. So I'm going to do that. I need it to be short. And Leo says hi. You guys have seen me do this before. I'm just going to cover this frame. Just covering it. So what I want to do, you guys may think I'm silly, because it's an ABC book. ABC, ABC, D, is, I want to put like a little note underneath. I'm going to have her as a tag, and I'm going to put a little note underneath here that says it's an ABC, you know, something about ABCs, just something underneath that's going to be, um, only visible if you open the tag up. So that was my idea. Hopefully this will, my, um, so anyway, I'm just covering this up. The technician will be here soon. And then I will not have internet for however long it takes them to switch over. I'm not unhappy with my internet service, just that these guys are cheaper. Or should I say, less expensive. Look at that, that didn't go over. Less expensive is always good for me because I am on a fixed income. Aren't we all? Well, not all of us, but a lot of us are. So. so my neighbor got it, and so... I decided to try. No contract, so if we don't like it, we can always go back. But it is like half price. 
like half price. All right, gotta go. Hey, so the technician got here and put in my new network. So what I did is I went to the internet and I found this ABC and I took a piece of cardboard, I cut out a frame like this, put some acetate in there, and I am just going to put this on here, three sides. That's all I'm gonna do is glue that on there. Around the edges. He's cute. I like the big guy. Okay. I didn't say that out loud. <laughs> My technician, he was cute. Married. But cute. Okay. So, I'm going to center this over top of that and put something heavy on it and then this will go in see how pretty this will be on the top front of there like that and then when you take it out you will have the ABC's the ABC's okay so, onward and upward. I'll be back with the pages. Okay, so I'm back. And I love the way this turned out. Um, I put some acetate in here. I'm not sure I put that in the last video. But, um, I put this tag in there. And I just, I think it's really awesome. I love the way it came out. And so, um, now I... What I did, just so you guys will know, is I took my ruler and I looked at this and I said, okay, I want this to be 475, which I wrote down here, 475 by seven and an eighth is what I decided. So that's what I wanted my pages to be. So since my pages with my tea, my tea dyed my pages and they were 11, eight and a half by 11 because I that's um, the size paper that I use. So what I did was I, I went ahead and I multiplied 475 by two because I'm going to fold them in half. And then that way uh, it came out to 9.5. So when I cut my paper, I ended up having the most scraps, the, the biggest scraps that I could find. And you can use these for like journaling spots on the back of cards or a little, um, little scrap, um, what do you call it? Little notepads, I'm sorry, I'm like, it's early in the morning over here. So anyway, I cut all my pages down and I have 15 sheets of tea dyed paper. And I know that it looks like it's not much, but here's the thing. Um, if you start adding stuff, it gets to be much. So you want it to be that way. You want it to be thin. So I have this. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a piece of paper And let's use a piece of paper. Maybe I'll just use a piece of scrap paper. I have lots of scrap paper. And this is one and three quarters again by seven and an eight. But what we want to do is use this. I want to use the pages. I want to use the pages. So I'm going to do right here. the size of the pages and my spine what was it but again I said one and do one and three quarters because I forget things so I'm gonna go one and three quarters mm -hmm. 
like this. It's just scrap paper. And then I'm going to, this is the size of my pages. Okay. Easy thing to do is to fold it, fold this paper in half. We're making a template. I'm going to fold this paper in half. Okay. And fold in half. I need to use my, I want to use a bone folder. And then I'm going to fold this piece up to the fold line. Okay, like that. And if you, since you guys can't see, I might go ahead and run this doesn't really matter I'm not doing this for but just so you guys can see okay and then fold this side up to here Okay, then fold it in half. <laughs> and fold it in half. And fold it in half. So now you have a template for your Thanks. Now, most of the time, though, I like to go, I usually like to go an inch in. Just because this is just what I do. So instead of doing that, but that's easy. But instead of doing that, I don't know, I just like it an inch in. So this would be my middle. And these would be my holes here. But the other way is easier. I mean, obviously, but. So we have this, okay? Now we're gonna take this, and I have a piece of, um, I have this piece of packaging foam that I keep. Just keep. I can't remember where I got it, it just came with something. I am gonna put this in the center. Get me a piece of tape, two pieces of tape. This is just packing tape. Put this right in the center of that. And I'm gonna take my awl and I'm gonna poke holes. It's gonna be hard, I think where each of those marks are. Okay. So now we have holes where the, in the spine. Then we take these off. that aside and now you fold it in half I like to um, I like to use clips here 
and you center that. You always want to do this. Here, we'll say this is a T. I don't know, just because sometimes they're a tiny bit off, so you just want to make sure that they're the same on each signature. And I always do it like that. Make one. Where's the other one? Oh, under, under there. I've been looking at all of the um, the new the the thing the comments, and it looks like we're kind of even as far as whether you guys want it to be random or whether you want it to be in order. I think it's kind of even, even Steven. Even Steven. So I put a poll on the community tab and um, so that I could get a more precise thing. So I am going to see, and whoever wins, wins. All right, so all of those, now you can throw this away, because I make a new one for each thing. Okay, now we're gonna get, we have to decide what color. And I think I'm going to use this color. So, this is considered a three-hole pamphlet stitch. And notice I just used, um, I would usually do about two and a half, and I just used regular, I, all I did was use the tea dyed paper. I didn't, um, because I didn't want to use any, I mean, I plan on covering everything up anyway, so I didn't want to use um, scrapbook paper or ledger paper or anything like that. It's just, I just wanted it to be, you know, regular. So I'm going to go in the middle. I'm going to leave a little tail in the middle, in the top. all the way to the bottom in the bottom and back up through the middle making sure that you do not split the threads and I know a lot of people do it differently but you want to have a, looks like I might have split the first. See what happens when you split? You don't want this to split. If it does that, undo them. Because it won't tighten. You want one on either side of that. And you want, right? You want to make sure, you feel this, see if it's like that, yep. So you go right over left, left over right, it's a nice square knot. I'm going to snip it. Okay. And then the next one. Usually about two and a half is good. I get my thread from Amazon. And, uh, also, Michaels has it. I think Michaels has it. I'm not sure if Hobby Lobby does or not. So, so I know that a lot of people do three-hole pamphlet stitch um, differently, maybe. But I learned this from Nick the Booksmith. Have you ever seen any of her stuff? She's seriously 
uh, when it comes to making books. Book binding, she's probably my favorite. She knows her stuff. She does. She can make like some amazing books, just make amazing books. Okay, like I said, be careful not to split that thread. You'd be able to tell because when you tie it, it's not gonna tighten good. see did I yeah it's in there say I can see it through there you wanna I think it is just a little bit so it was in there a little bit. It's easy to do. I just want to make sure it doesn't do this. Oh, now we got it. So right. Over left. Left. Over right. Cut it off. Now if you want to, you can leave some of these hanging down um, as to put dangles on, but I'm not doing it this time. One, two, three. This is waxed thread. So how many of you guys are planning on following along? Are you guys gonna follow along? You're gonna make a journal and... Um, You know, one way, if you don't want to make a journal, I know those composition books are on sale right now. Like, you can make a really cute journal out of a composition book by um, just covering it. And, I mean, you're going to cover the pages anyway. Just a thought. I know a lot of people are making them and then covering them with, um, cover the front and the back and the inside cover with scrapbooking paper, and making cute journals that way. I can tell already that I split that. It's just that it won't tighten. Here, that's see, it won't it won't tighten if it's split. Right over left, left over right. Okay. Okay, so now we have a journal. And as you can see, these are pretty evenly spaced. So there's going to be there's the same amount of space in the front between each of the signatures. So that's going to be good. And even though it looks like, believe me, it will, um, it'll fill up when you start adding stuff. And you can keep this the way it is like this, or if you want to, you can add some lace. I kind of like the look of it, so I don't know, and it, I can always go back and add lace to it later, so. So anyway, I really like the way this came out. What do you guys think? We can't wait. So, ABC Journal, ABC, we'll see, and I've been looking at all of the uh, suggestions. I will say, I know, I know a couple people said um, America. I'm not going to do America. And it's not because I don't, I mean, I live in America. It's not like I don't love the country, but I have a lot of followers that are in the UK and other countries. So if they want to follow along, I want them to be able to follow along. They may not, um, I mean, you know, so 
so the, anyway, that was, that's my story and I'm sticking to it. So let me know what you guys think about this. And that's it for now. And we'll come back and start adding some stuff to it. Maybe season one, two, three. Cute. Very cute. I like the way some of this paper came out. Um, oh, just so you know, the way I do it, uh, my formula is I take, I go to Walmart or get cheap uh, tea bags. I get the small ones and I put 10 in a pot. I let it boil. I may have said this already. I let it boil. Uh, then I, when it starts to boil, I cut it off and leave the tea bags in there until it gets cool. And then I just dip my paper in it one at a time and I lay it downstairs in my basement to dry overnight. And there you go. Easy peasy. Okay, I did say that before. Never mind. Sorry about that. Anyway, till next time. I'll see you later. Bye.